Hi everyone, in this video we will see that how we can create dynamic dependent drop down list in multiple rows in Excel. I am very excited to share this solution and various tips and tricks that we are going to cover in this video. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. So let's say we have this data here in which we have the state column and we have the corresponding cities in the city column. Our goal is to insert drop down list in these two columns such that in the state column we will have the drop down list for unique states that we have here in the state column in this table and the drop down list in the city column will depend upon the selection that we make in the state column here. So let's say if we select the state as Rajasthan here then the drop down list in this cell will contain filter list of cities that belong to Rajasthan here. So these will be the items of that list here and we have to do the same process for each of the rows here. So that is our goal and we will see step by step how we can achieve this. As our first step we will get a unique list of all the states that we have in the state column in this table. So for that we will go to the calculation area and here we will use unique function. So we will write equals to unique and as our array parameter we will select this column here close the bracket press enter and we got this result. Now we wish to get this result as a single row here. So for that we can either use transpose function or we can use two row function. So we will go with two row function. So two row we will close the bracket here press enter and we got this list of unique states as a single row here. Now as our next step we have to get a filtered list of all the cities that belong to the corresponding states here. So let's say if the state is Rajasthan here, we have to get filtered list of cities that belong to Rajasthan. So for getting that we will use filter function. So we will use equals to filter and we will filter from this cities column comma our criteria will be that the state should be equal to Rajasthan. So we will select i5 cell, close the bracket, press enter and we have got this result. We have to get this result for all the other states as well. So what we will do, we will copy this formula and we will apply this. We will paste this for each of the other states as well. So paste this by pressing control V and we have got this result. So here the formula is exactly same as we have used in Rajasthan, but the only difference is this reference. I here we are referring to I5, which is again the state Rajasthan. In this formula, again, rest of the formula is exactly same. Just this part is changing that is we are referring to J5 that is this state here Maharashtra. Similarly if we go ahead we will see that only this part is changing we are referring to Madhya Pradesh here. So now that we have identified the component that is changing across all the states we will see that how we can utilize this in order to get this result dynamically for all the states so that we don't have to manually copy paste the formula across all the cells. So we will delete these formulas from here. And we will now try to generate a formula that only resides in cell I6 and the complete result is generated dynamically for all the states. We can do that using reduce function. So we will use this formula and before that we will use reduce function. So reduce and as our initial value we, we could input anything. So let's say we go with an empty string. So I will input an empty string here comma as our array parameter we could input this array here because each time we were changing only the reference of these states here right at the first iteration let's say our reference was i5 then our reference was to state Maharashtra that is j5 then our reference was to state Madhya Pradesh that is reference k5 and finally our reference was to cell l6 which contains Tamil Nadu. So we are iterating through each of these states one by one and that's why our array parameter will be i5 hash which contains the unique list of all the states comma we will start writing our function and for that we will write lambda and we will refer to the previous result and the current value. So let's say if we are at the third iteration at the third iteration our state is Madhya Pradesh for Madhya Pradesh the previous result is the result for Rajasthan and the result for Madhya Pradesh. Similarly if we are at Tamil Nadu then the previous result for Tamil Nadu is result of Rajasthan Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh right. So we have to define that here and let's say we refer the previous result by x here. Then we have to give a variable for the current value as well for each of the states as well. So at the first iteration 
the value of current state is Rajasthan. At the second iteration, it will be Maharashtra. At the third iteration, it will, it will be Madhya Pradesh and so on. And let's say we refer to that by S here. S by state. So each of the current states here. And what we will do? That we will replace this I5 reference by S here. Because at each iteration, S refers to the given state here. Given state that we are looping through. So we will close the brackets now. Press enter. And we have got this result. Now this result is only generated for the last value that we have in this array. That is it is generated for only Tamil Nadu here. Right. But we want the previous results as well that we have generated at each of the steps. So how we can get that as well. For that what we can do we can use H stack. So we can stack the previous result with the result that is generated at the current steps. So we will stack with the previous result the result that is generated for the current state that we have. So we will keep this formula as it is and we will close the brackets here press enter and we could see that we have got this result for each of the states here dynamically. We don't need this first column so we can remove this by using drop function. So we can drop the first column here and we got this result here right. So let's say if we shrink the range of the table here we this is dynamic right. Tamil Nadu is not available here. If we again expand this range of this table then this is dynamic Tamil Nadu is again included and we have got this dynamically generated. So now that we have the most crucial piece of the puzzle in place we will go ahead with the drop down list and we will first of all create drop down list for states here. So for that we will come to this cell we will go to data tab we will go to drop down list and instead of any value we will select list and since this is a list of all the unique states as our source we will give reference to this cell and use pound sign in order to refer to the dynamic array. We will click on OK and we could see that we have got list of all the unique states in this drop down list. We will drag down this formula to get this list for all the other cells as well. So we could select any of the states here. Let's say we select Maharashtra here. Now the drop down list in the cities column will depend upon the selection that we made here in the state column. And since we have selected Maharashtra here, we will get these cities as part of the drop down list here in the cities column. So how we can achieve this? So for that we will use xlookup function. What we can do that we can use xlookup and we, we will look up for the selected state here. Comma, where do we have to look up? We have to look up here in this array and in return we have to get the corresponding column from this array. So we will select this array here. And since these are arrays, we are referring them by pound sign here. Let's close the bracket, press enter and we have got this as a result. And if we change this, let's say to Madhya Pradesh, this will be dynamic and this will automatically change. And this is the formula that we are going to use inside drop down list. Why are we going with xlookup and not directly with filter function? The reason is that xlookup function returns a reference, but filter function does not. And inside drop down list when we try to give a formula it only accepts the formulas that returns a reference not an array. Right. So if we have to check that if this returns a reference or not we can use isref function in Excel. So isref and if we close the bracket press enter we got true here. But if we use let's say isref so if we let's say first of all filter the list of cities that belong to Madhya Pradesh we got this list and if it use is ref function before this then we will get a false here. So we cannot use this formula filter function inside drop down list. So we will have to remove this and we will use x lookup function there. Uh, so we will have to remove this is ref function as well and we got this list here. Now again we have to fix this part and this part. Why do we have to fix this? Because when we will refer to this array here in the drop down list, we will have to drag down the drop down list as well. So accordingly E6 reference that is the state that is selected in the corresponding row will change. But this dynamic array will have to remain intact. It will have to remain fixed. Right. If we let's say try to drag this down here, we will get a reference error here because I7 hash 
has no reference here. So we will have to fix this reference here. So for that, what we can do, we can use F4 key to fix these references here. So we will have to fix this reference and this reference as well. Press enter and we got this list here. We will copy this formula now. Again, including equals to sign as well. So we will copy this. Come to this cell, data tab, data validation. And instead of any value, we will select list. And as our source, we will paste that formula here. Press OK. And we got this drop down list here. And if we see, it only contains the cities that belong to Madhya Pradesh. If we, let's say, create it here to Maharashtra. And we copy the drop down list to the rows below as well. And now if we see here the drop down list, it only contains the cities that belong to Maharashtra. If we see here as well for let's say Rajasthan, this is the list that updated list for Tamil Nadu. Again, we have the updated list here, right? We have achieved 90% of our goal. The only part that remains is dealing with these any errors here. So for dealing with these any errors so that they are not visible in the drop down list here, what we can do we can use a very special property of drop down list that is introduced in Excel 365. So let's see what is that special property. So I, I can remove this formula now and let's say we insert a drop down list here. So we will go to data tab, data validation and instead of any value, we will select a list and as our source, let's say we give this as our range here, this list of states here. So let's click on OK. And now if we see the items of this drop down list, we will get a unique list of states that are present in this state column. This is the special property that we are going to use that the drop down list automatically removes the duplicates and get us the unique values inside the drop down list, right? This is a very useful property that we are going to utilize now. So we have this and we can remove the drop down list from here. So we can select any value and click on OK. So that drop down list is gone now. And how we can utilize that, that property here. So if we see here for Rajasthan, we don't have any problem because in this array that we have generated, we have four rows. But in Maharashtra, uh, we are getting any error for that missing piece here. So how we can deal with that? So let's say if we instead of this any error, if we generate any of the values that are present above this, if we let's say replace this by Mumbai, Pune or Nagpur, then drop down list will automatically remove the duplicates and get us the unique values here. So even if it contains Mumbai, it will take the unique values from this and it will only keep the unique values in this list as well. So that's how we can resolve this issue. Similarly for let's say Madhya Pradesh as well, if we replace these NA errors by let's say Indore, then uh, Although it will, this range will contain duplicates, but drop down list will take care of those duplicates and give us only the unique values in return. So that's the logic that we are going to use. And we will see that how we can resolve this issue. So let's say we use XLOOKUP function here. XLOOKUP, each of the states here in this array, we look them up here in the state column and we return the corresponding cities in the cities column. Close the bracket, press enter. Then what is the result we got? We got the first cities that are present in this city column for each of the states here. And wherever we have any errors, we can replace the any errors by the first city that we find in the city column here. So that is the logic that we can use here. And for that, what we will do, we will copy this formula. Come here and we will use if any function. But if we have any error in this formula, what we can do, uh, we can Again, comma and all tended to go to the next line. What we can do, we can get our values from the XLOOKUP function, right? The first value that is present in the cities column. So we will use this, close the bracket, press enter, and that issue will be resolved now because we have, we have, we don't have any, any errors here. These are duplicates. And again, from these duplicates, it will keep only uh, the unique values and give us the list here. So if we see now for Madhya Pradesh, we don't have any errors here for Maharashtra as well. We don't have any errors here. So let's also make some selections. We don't have any errors here for Rajasthan. We didn't had errors earlier as well. So for Tamil Nadu, let's say we don't have any, any errors here. So we can remove this part here. 
and this is how we can create dynamic dependent drop down list in multiple rows let's expand this table to some more states and cities so let's say we drag this here and we expand the selection of this table here so as we can see that this formula is dynamically expanded and if we check out the drop down list here we can see that these states are also included up and karnataka are also also included so if we select up we will get the filtered list of cities that belong to up here if we see karnataka then we will get bengaluru here right and similar is the case for other drop down list as well so that's how we can create drop down list dynamically in multiple rows in excel and for that again we used a special property of drop down list then we use these new functions that are introduced in excel 365 lambda function and drop reduce filter function x lookup also played a major role in helping us out so that's it for this video and i hope you like this video please drop your suggestions and feedback in the comment section i hope you would implement this in your work as well thank you so much and stay tuned for more such videos in future